All right, y'all. Um, it's about that time. Uh, we're gonna try and start doing some guardian takedown solos, or at least start attempting to do some of these. Uh, anyone that's been watching me for a decent amount of time knows that I did this series a little bit uh, for the Malawan takedown. Uh, I mean, you we could continue it uh, these days, but like I feel like there's really no point uh, because the, the Malawan takedown can be beaten like super easily now by almost anything. Uh, but yeah, so I figured we'd go ahead and start trying to knock out some of the Guardian takedown uh, one weapon onlys. And yeah, we're the first one that we are going to do today, obviously, is the uh, Reflux here that we got. But we put out a poll today earlier, and it was uh, it was close between a f the, the Flipper uh, and the Reflux. We're going to be doing some of the easier guns first, and then we're going to move into some more difficult ones. Also, we'll probably do an Iron Bear only one uh, at some point as well. Uh, that'll be a pretty fun video to do, for sure. Uh, and then if we do beat it uh, later on in this video, I mean, we should beat it. Uh, I will go ahead and show off uh, like this build that we're using. I might need to make a video on this build at some point. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'll make it. I'll, I'll show you all the setup that we're using uh, at the end of this video, uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, obviously, we're using times 14 and times 7 reflexes. The times 14, uh, I like a little bit more in the Guardian Takedown just because uh, the damage is a little bit nicer. Uh, although it is obviously a little bit more uh, ammo hungry, as it uh, does chew through ammo for sure. I don't know how much we're going to be uh, commentating in this video since we're going to be using the Reflux gun. I've been like literally, I've shown on this channel so many times now uh, at this point. <laughs> but like, you know, it, it's the Reflux. It's, it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? The thing about doing this uh, this raid uh, versus the Malmon raid is that it's just way, way longer. Uh, so it's a little bit harder to do it all in like one cut. Especially if I uh, become a full noob and uh, mess up a skip or something and fall off the map. That's happened plenty of times. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. What's y'all's favorite reflux? Times 7 or times 14? I definitely generally like inside kits, but obviously in the Guardian Takedown, the uh, the Shock AC is just by far the, uh, the best uh, in this takedown. Like, far and away. That extra... Having the, the two main elements, like, literally up at almost at all times is so, so important. Oh, look at that. Look at that perfect stoppage off my crystal, bro. Cool. 
All right, let's get some crucial time down on this clock. Dang, dude, look how close we got on that crystal, too. That sucks. Dude, the range on the Frozen Heart is so insane. Oh, dude, look at that. All, like, literally on the edge of my crystal. Easy work. Alright, cool. We got the crystals in literally just under the two minute mark. Take that. Pet, you can you can kill that guy. Oh man, we had to switch to the cup purse. I was, just, I was gonna go as long as I could without having to do this. Mr. Clover. 
close your eyes. They like those. Yeah, can I freeze in and fall down the map? I think that works. Am I aware? Is that an incendiary AC? Wait a second. Silly, silly Cree. We won radiation. Wow, what a noob. That's me being a noob right there. Come on, radiation, not shock. We already have shock. I was like, I, I, was, I even noticed like the enemies aren't even exploding. <laughs> Later. See you later, boys. Wow, okay, so we're about 15 minutes into recording. And we just not made it to Anathema. Hmm. Anthem, uh, they just need to uh, spawn their ads, and then we will be okay. Obviously the reflex is not a, like a god at uh, killing bosses by themselves. Just needs uh, the enemies. Just something to chain to so it can chain back more damage. I really hope in like future bosses uh, that they implement characters that don't have 12 immunity phases. There's a bit of chain damage, thank you. Oh god darn it. No, no. Oh man, that was a little a little bit on the uh, rough side there, huh?
I uh, messed up my timing there just a little bit, bro. I thought I was going to die and then fall straight down after we restart the entire raid, bro. I was really going to be like, bro, no way. Hey, bud. It's all good, man. Okay, cool. Alright, let me now rush right into it. You know, I thought I could time it like a god. Don't get me wrong, I still like this boss fight. I think it's cool that the mechanics are cool. I just uh, wish there wasn't so many immunity phases. They're just, Gearbox is just like really scared of having their hard raid bosses instantly one-shotted by something or someone out there. Because that <laughs> they don't want their, their they don't want their hardest boss in the game just getting freaking one shotted but by, by the community bro <laughs> they put twelve immunity phases that's crazy. These videos are going to be really long, dude. I can already tell. These videos are are, are going to be really long. <laughs> really long, dude. They're going to be way longer than the Malawan videos. No, no! God! Uh, okay, sp you know what? It's all good. Easy work. <laughs> I guess that's for speed demon can hurt me. <laughs> I was just trying to get ready to adjust myself and then I went fling right back into the radiation bomb like a dinging. Like a ding ding, like a dingling. <laughs> Okay, guys, we only have two immunity phases left. And then we'll be good to go.
Alright, here's our final stand against the first boss with our reflux, you already know. I think that's the first down that Anathema actually got on us. The other two, we basically downed ourselves running right into the bomb. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, we're just gonna, you know, keep, keep this sucker moving. Now we're going to switch to our snow drift. Easy. A skip is so easy to do. Sorry, I can't be in on my crystal though. It's just part of the job. It's just the way it is. Oh, as he gets on my crystal. What a turd. I prefer to at least clear off this crystal before I rotate at all. Literally, we're gonna put time on this one uh, until like we really, like really get forced out, and then what's gonna happen is that uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, rotate back to this one because uh, we're gonna go straight to the, uh, the crystals on the left, kill it, and then we're gonna rotate back to this one. That's funny. Those crystal phases way easier because the because there's certain there's only plat there's a few areas where they come from and it's really easy to control them. Plus, you know, you spawn multiple portals that they don't come on the same platform as you. It's really easy, or I think it's a little bit easier in the first set, the first set of crystal, the first set of uh, crystals in this uh, could take down for sure, for sure. Okay, so yeah, now we we only have one crystal left, um, and then we're gonna be moving on to basically the final stage of, of this, and then we should almost be done. I don't know how long these are gonna be. These probably be each like a solid thirty minutes, uh, for sure. Boom, all right. Now 
Now, uh, I'm not going to really try too, too much to do this skip right here. Um, I'm not all that confident in doing this one. Uh, so we're just going to actually kill everything just with our reflex. Because refl I mean, our reflex, will easy our reflex will easily be able to kill all this stuff. Uh, and yeah. right here we're men we're men I remember when I thought this part right here was like the hardest part. Like honestly, bro, when the very first came out, I thought this area right here was actually pretty difficult. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. We also did went ahead and actually switched to the Paneka stop cat. Um, I figured that might be a little bit a little bit more useful in this fight, just so we get the uh, uh, immunity phases from Scourge. So don't have to worry about him. Um, and then we should be okay with AoE damage. So, yeah. Although I will say, for most of the fight, or most of the entire, uh, like rest of the in-game content, I would like, I would prefer the the uh, Frozen Heart over the stopgap, just because uh, that AoE, that crowd control. Is so useful, especially on the crystal phases, bro. Just keeping them away and off of the crystal by freezing them is so nice.
No. No. Do something like that. How are your last friends? Wow, he's a little flying, flying high a little bit, didn't he? Sorry, my commentary slipped in. I'm just, I'm literally just, just uh, timing my rack phases, uh, with our, and just killing things with a reflex. Like, there's nothing really else I need to go over. And all this massive chain damage. Oh, and the guy still blew up, blew up on him. That's perfect. Okay. So actually, in here. Um, I'm pretty sure going for the uh, the good old frozen heart will actually be better, uh, just so we that we can get some AOE uh, crowd control. And since uh, the only reason why we uh, use the stop gap out there is because uh, obviously we can't freeze scourge, but we can freeze every other mob that we face in the, in the takedown. So that's why that's why uh, we use the uh, frozen heart in here. At least that's why I think it's a good idea too. Cause you can just do big amount of, uh, amounts of crowd control with it and then easily freeze everything then against the boss uh, against scourge it's just very useful uh to have uh, immunity phases because he's kind of a bit of an annoyance just a little bit our portal will be opening up in uh very very sh uh, shortly just probably need to kill like maybe a few uh more enemies and our portal should uh, definitely open up soon. There it goes. All right. Before I forget, let's push back to the Paneka. Also, we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, nah. No, it's right there. Thank you. Something like this. We'll just go ahead and stock up on ammo. Yep. That's plenty of ammo. We can switch back. Perfect. And this should be... Is this times 14 one? Yep. Cool. Now we're back to doing this again. This boss fight is going to be a little long and boring because that's just kind of how it's just going to roll with the reflex. Since uh, in order to get maximum damage out of it, obviously we got to have uh, enemies to chain to. Now when we do things like the flipper and the monarch, that'll be different. That'll be different. What? Oh, please don't get on my, my come on, man. 
What is this guy doing? I don't know how he, he even downed us. Whatever, it's all good. I think the be the hardest part is actually is like just getting him to uh, the phases wherever we can spawn in the crystals. Not the crystals, but the guys that uh, that's blow up on them. Those are nice extra amounts of damage. Yeah, that's what you like to see, baby. Perfect. And we'll shoot you. Perfect. Shoot you. Perfect. Extra damage. Extra, extra, extra damage. Get all about it. Oh yeah, dude, spamming the stopgap was a smart move for sure. Come on, man. Go ahead. Just teleport us. Thank you. What? Oh, that is such trash, dude. Did I just get killed by dot damage? Man, that's so lame. That is so lame. That is the definition of lame. Just saying. Just saying. Dude, I've had plenty of times in this takedown where I've spawned in one of these areas uh, in the second teleportation and I've ran the wrong way and immediately died. Over the eyes. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, I need to get ammo. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, duh. Third the door right behind you, Kree. Sweet. Alright, guys, this is the home stretch. Oh, duh. Wrong way, Kree. Duh. Come on, man. What? Hello, money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, try. Try me with that. Fury. 
Watch this one be one of the more faster runs on the channel that we have for this series. That'd be ironic as hell. It's just our single target damage is just not there. Uh, obviously, because it's a reflux. Duh. Yes. Thank you, pet. At least these phases right here are really, really fast. Like, uh, versus Anathema, we can burn through his uh, these four immunity phases pretty fast. Those guys blow up on him, that's a nice extra bits of damage. Okay, one more face to go, y'all, and then we'll have our first uh, first video of this series done. Yeah, these are gonna be way a lot more difficult than the mile of one takedown ones for sure. Look at all the explosion damage we got off right there. Boom, easily. Yeah, dude, these are gonna be way way longer uh, than mile one than the mile one takedown videos were uh, for obvious reasons. The guarding takedowns at least twice as long, uh, I would say. But uh, yeah, guys, I did say I would go ahead and sh show off our setup that we're using here. Um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up uh, real quick. I know it's a bit of a different one, right? You know, I'm generally more of a, uh, a I don't know, a frag player. I'm more a, a fadeaway uh, type of uh, flag player. But we used a rack attack this entire time. I probably need to make a video on this rack attack setup. Um, this rack attack setup is super, super powerful and obviously easily uh, able to solo most of the game. Uh, you don't need the stop gap. Um, the, the frozen heart works, uh, I prefer the frozen heart shield, uh, for like literally every other pr place where you can freeze enemies, uh, just cause it provides crowd control a lot more easy. Sometimes with stop cap, they can, uh, like, you know, run away and stuff, but when you freeze and they just stay in place, it's very easy. Uh, but yeah, so here's the setup. So here's the reflexes that we use the times 14 and the times seven shock, uh, ASC reflexes. Very, very amazing. Uh, huge shout out to the homie King for hooking us up with these. Um, also, we have uh, our Frozen Heart. Uh, 57 one still works really well. Uh, and then we have this one for Radiation. So we get Radiation, Corrosive, and Shock all at the same, uh, literally all at the same time. Very amazing. Uh, this beautiful rack pack, I probably need to make a video um, on this rack pack, uh, talk, going over this one and stuff. Uh, this will be really fun. We could definitely use something as, like, we could definitely use maybe the reflux as a control for this because having shotgun and hyperion weapon crit is so so perfect for this type of setup it just makes it very very fluid uh but yeah and then here's our pearl that we use a level 60 pearl now so a bit more max size and fire rate um and then i'm just going to quickly go over the tree it's nothing crazy <clears throat> it's pretty self-explanatory uh, once again i probably will do a, sep a separate build video for this uh but yeah guys i uh, hope y'all did enjoy the video if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead drop a little like button subscribe if you're new uh, huge shout out to the homies. Uh, just, you know what I'm saying? Huge shout out to the homies. Uh, anyways, though, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Cree. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.